Let's take a live look outside over Everett right now. Uh, really a gorgeous day, and if you compare it to what we had over the last uh, few days, uh, a little clearer than it's been, right, Adam? Just a little clearer. We still have the haze that's going to be in the sky, and we're not completely done with the wildfire smoke yet. We got a couple of more days of that, so Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly even Thursday, too. I think we're going to have to deal with that, and that is going to mean more air quality issues through that time. We'll keep the sunshine around as this pattern that we've been stuck in for quite some time is going to lead to highs back around the 70s. Now, cooler than what we had over the weekend, but more sun and more of that summer-like weather before we do see the big changes in places like Stevens Pass. After seeing temperatures up near 80 this weekend, we'll possibly see maybe the snow flying as we head into the weekend as we start to see those snow levels drop and cooler air arrive and more of that autumn-like weather for the Pacific Northwest finally get here. So big changes uh, from yesterday as far as temperatures down by 15 to 20 degrees across the region, even lower in Everett and in Seattle down by 21 to 22 degrees, which puts you right around the mid 60s in Seattle. Everett, we're sitting at 62, 60 in Oak Harbor, 64 in Bellingham and a pretty uniform air mass, meaning a lot of 60s as opposed to seeing that wide variety that we were seeing in the past few days. So we do still have air quality alerts and those have actually been extended. It was supposed to end at 11 p.m. this morning. Now it's extended through 5 p.m. on Thursday because of some of that wildfire smoke that we're still expecting to see here across the region. Speaking of the current conditions, uh, here we are moderate here across parts of mainly western Washington. You go farther south around Chehalis. We actually have another plume that's going to come up that way and start to impact us here across Puget Sound and the Kitsap Peninsula later on tonight and more into the day for tomorrow. So looking at that as we time it out for you, 8 o'clock, you're starting to see some of that come in from the south. Also noticing some of that also still impacting from some of our fires closer by across more of the Cascades. Here we are into the day for tomorrow. We start to see that take over a little more. Plus, we're going to see a little more of that offshore wind come back around heading into late Tuesday and heading into Wednesday. That's going to help to fan some more smoke over our way. So again, we're still going to expect these air quality issues for the next two to three days. SeaTac Airport, hazy skies, a little clearer than yesterday, but also home to that 88 degree high yesterday, which was a record high for the day. We're sitting at 66 clear skies, sunshine, winds coming out of the west. Good, only at three miles per hour. We were seeing pretty high winds yesterday, fanning some of the flames from some of the fires and creating a little more of an issue with that. Looking at the satellite and radar picture, we zoom out. You can see weak feature right here. That's moving north into British Columbia. We got another one right here out into the Gulf of Alaska. That's also heading north, and the system's not heading eastward. Why? Well, this area of high pressure has been strong and blocking a lot of them and directing them farther to the north. That's going to change. We're eventually going to see another system right out of the Gulf of Alaska and head south right into our area late into the week. Now, for tonight, expect things to be quiet again with high pressure still in control. A little more of that patchy fog, possibly a few clouds early into the day for tomorrow, and then we get into the afternoon, see plenty of sunshine, 530. You can see clear sky still around, and then we'll head on into tomorrow night and into Wednesday, seeing more of the same on the way. Now, just check out how things really change late this week. We go from highs around 70 Friday. Chances of rain coming around. Scatter showers, better chances late into the day and into Friday night. Then we see widespread rain around on Saturday, and a lot of our issues will be helped out with this coming in, heading into Saturday, Sunday, and it looks like Monday as the Pacific Northwest weather that we know for this time of the year finally arrives.